This video brought to you by Gamefly. Go to GameflyOffer.com slash HaloCanon for a 30-day free trial. Stick around to the end for more details. Well, welcome back, Canonites, to another episode of Let's Lore for Halo Wars. This time, for the first time, we're playing on the Halo Wars Definitive Edition on PC. And for that very first episode, I am very glad to have with me Late Night Gaming. Say hello. Hey! It's on PC, finally. It finally is. Oh, by the way, are you at all familiar with the controls for the PC? <laughs> oh, oh, man. Well... <laughs> <laughs> Here's a funny story. No, <laughs> that's the it's story. It's a learn-as-you-go experience. <laughs> okay, here we go. I'm incredibly zoomed in. How do I zoom out? Um, you can either hit Alt and then uh, use your the the wheel on the mouse, or you hit Page Up and Page Down. Okay, that's and by the way, to contrived. turn yeah, to <laughs> to actually turn the camera, you hit Alt and then drag your mouse left or right. Or you can you can hit delete to go counterclockwise, insert to go clockwise. Gotcha. All right. Nice and fun and complicated. I mean, <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's not all that intuitive, but you very, know what? Very, very intuitive. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's it, it could be better, but honestly, it's not the worst controls I've had. So. Well, and considering it's kind of like tra mm. like it was made with a controller in mind, and they're yeah. kind of now moving it over to pc it's like eh, you're yeah i mean that considered like the the fact that it's the very reverse of your standard uh i think they did a pretty decent job anyway what i like to do for this level personally is just make a shit ton of air units so i don't know if you <laughs> want to do that or not oh yeah we can just farm a bunch of <laughs> air units get them all in there yeah this i mean it makes traversing the terrain know. very easy you don't have to worry about Oh, what's it called? The Flood Cloud or whatever the hell that shit is. Oh man, so here's the thing. Since this game was never released on PC, I didn't really have an interest in it. Because so, I would... <laughs> are you not if, are you basically are you saying you've never played Halo Wars? I'm not saying that. You're saying that. That's true, but <laughs> I'm saying, saying that I'm asking if that's me. the implication here. Well, I'm not confirming it or denying it. Yeah, we'll take that as a no. <laughs> Yeah, I've played, you know, I've watched the cutscenes, I've played two levels on the 360, and that's about my experience with it. Okay, but well, welcome to Halo Wars how proper. How hard could it be? <laughs> well, on <I'm> PC. <laughs> said everyone. <laughs> yeah, well, on PC, that's a different story. Yeah. Um, this seems pretty good, going. though, for, like, quote, quote, early access. Yeah, I mean, it, it. the way I, I figure this is most likely what must have happened is, like, they... Because we know for we know they were originally going to release this at, at, on a, at, at a, like, at the same time as Halo Wars. So they must have, like, said, hey, we can probably get this early and then get this in people's hands. You know, and well, that's what happened. It's even kind of like, I don't know, it just, it feels, like, complete. done, like, well-polished. It, I mean, yeah, except for, like, a couple technically missing features, it, it is pretty much done. And is I say like game I, modes or, like, oh, this AI doesn't have this thing yet? It's, when I say, like, it's, it's, it's like, missing the classic matchmaking and, and leaderboards. Okay. And I say missing in that I'm pretty sure they have no intention of adding that in. <laughs> oh. Which is gonna, which has already pissed a lot of veterans off and will probably continue to piss them off. Ah, uh, yes, the flying bats. Oh, man. I love those. Oh, this, okay, this is actually exciting. I never actually... It's like, it's weird how little Take I... out those giant testicles. Ew, ball <laughs> thing. I mean, come on. You look, look at that and tell me that's not what those are. Ew, it's a giant Brussels sprout, but it's gross and slimy. <laughs> Wait, what are bus Brussels sprouts normally? Uh, these... Globule things. No, I mean you said you said Ew, they're gross sprout. and slimy, and I said are, I'm thinking like are Brussels sprouts oh. not? <laughs> are they? Are you saying they're not usually gross and slimy? Oh no! In fl floodlings, infection <laughs> forms. That's what they're called. 
<laughs> no, I like floodlings better. <laughs> I, to- I totally forgot their name for a minute. I was like, oh no, floodlings. Oh god, my my commenters are gonna rip you a new one. <laughs> Here we oh go. no, that was a trap. It wasn't actually more resources. Uh, yeah, I know, that That was so great. It was like, ha ha! Like, you could tell it was supposed to be this tense moment. Like, oh no, infection forms were inside. Yep. <laughs> oh no, this is really tense. And there go. Yep. I just oh, made man. some more units, or some more enemies. What's interesting just because, like... So the thing is, like, with Halo Wars, like, something that I've never really given a lot of thought about until I kind of screwed around in, like, a little custom game with it is just how much more creative an RTS game can be with the Halo universe due to the amount of units that you can have. Oh, yeah. Where with, like, a first-person shooter, you don't want to overwhelm people with too many things as well as, you know, resource management. Like, you can't exactly have all this stuff in a first-person shooter. Yeah. But it's, like, it's cool. It really is. Ensemble went, up, in my opinion, like above and beyond in many ways just uh, with this game and oh God, like yeah. creating all these different, these extra units that didn't exist before. It's really damn cool, really. Well, and it's also, it's nice that they kind of went with the StarCraft template for how to design oh, yeah. an RTS because StarCraft is super accessible. Very. It's not like Rome Total War where there's like, you kind of have to do your homework before getting in to the I game. Would, I'll be honest though, like when Creative Assembly was first announced for Halo Wars 2, I almost, I really wanted like a Total War oh, well, <laughs> Halo yeah. when yeah. they were doing that, but <laughs> I am content with uh, the direction they ultimately chose to go. Like I understand it. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have minded a little more complexity, but I can understand why they did. Well, it's like it's what a triple A RTS. It's got to be like casualized a bit so it's more accessible. But I I thought the beta was a ton of fun. The Halo Wars Two beta. Oh, yeah. Maybe was, maybe I'm it. saying that because I don't have a lot of experience with the first game, but I didn't really understand people's problems. The mo- the problems that I've largely seen from people is that they felt it was too similar. Oh, by the that, way, if you want to build I, some air units, oh, we man. have an air pad okay. and some resources to spend. Yeah, we get my warthogs out of there. I don't want to just blow them all up. Yes, you do. Well, nothing, yeah. There's nothing like a warthog <laughs> explosion. <laughs> well, now that you open that door, I kind of do want to see them explode. <laughs> <laughs> Let me build myself some hornets. Uh, Everyone's saying they want the falcon in Halo 5. What about the hornet? Yeah. Like, that thing's I, just I really a falcon, don't... but you can shoot it. Yep. I never understood the desire to get the falcon back. <laughs> yeah, it's it's just a more it's just a less. It fun... was a flying death trap in Halo Reach. It's. <laughs> I mean, it's not going to be much better in Halo in Halo Five. Not. I don't think. Oh man. I don't think it would. Yeah, now the the weapons are all hit scan, so it's almost impossible to miss. Oh my god! Yeah. Actually, they, they were, I think they were, yeah, they were hit scan in Halo Reach, but now with dedicated servers kind of streamlining that, ex- the uh, connection a little more than you, than you would get with the P2P server, or P2P setup, but. Oh, man. Yeah, it, it's amazing. Uh, like, it, it's amazing going back to Reach, and I can feel the peer-to-peer, like, depending on what yeah. match you, there's a latency, especially in Firefight, depending on who's the host, there's a small controller latency. Oh, yeah, I bet. Here we go. All right. This okay, is so much so. fun. Here we go. I got one hornet out there. I'm going to kick another guy up in the air. Yeah, keep get Go for it, man. Go for it. Get up there. <laughs> go. These guys are also animated Ouch. really well. Yeah. Like, obviously, they're just bobbling and stuff, but there's like a little... I don't know. It's just like there's a little bit of life to them, considering they're just supposed to be tiny chess pieces that you can move around. They've all got these little details, things moving and twitching on their model. Oop, that's... Well, someone's going to see my start menu. (laughs) (laughs) Accidentally hit the window button. All right, let's go go save some people. They're all going to find out, insert embarrassing personal thing about you. Yeah. Oh, good thing I cleared out my start menu pretty recently. All right. Is this adrenaline research permanent, or is it a temporary boost? It's a permanent thing. That's why I put it up first, just to get that going. 
All right. And then I want to get the advanced reactor soon so we can upgrade our hornets. Man, uh, I'm about to lose another hornet. I am. I'm definitely feeling really excited about Halo Wars 2 when I just realized, oh man, it's 2017 and it's January. Halo Wars 2 is next month. Yep. And I'm down to a single hornet. There we go. Good job, hornet. Hey. Oh, Forge died. I don't care. Oh, I felt, oh man, you said Forge died, and it's been like ingrained <laughs> in my brain to expect that I was playing Halo 5 Forge on PC with another friend. And like, oh, Forge died. Uh. Like it crashed. <laughs> I was like, fuck! I was about to prematurely start yelling. <laughs> Motherfucking cocksuckers! Yeah, fix your fucking port! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man, I, I swear that little... sounded like fix your fucking porn for a second. <laughs> <laughs> fix your fucking porn! Get your porn together! <laughs> Get your life together! Oh, no, oh wow, I guess they, des they destroyed all my shit. Blood bats. Go away. <laughs> Blood bats, go away. Come again another day. That's not a real song. It is now. <laughs> I'm calling you out on that. I don't think that's a real song. <laughs> Your face isn't a real song. Oh, man. He's got me there. <laughs> How so dare you? <laughs> Sorry, go, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> Our banter is pretty good. But I was going to ask, what are these things that we're destroying? Like, so there's the Brussels sprout things, and then I see kind of like... like I don't remember what all of them are called. I know, like... Uh, these guys uh, the, are the you got the flood stalks. Oh yeah, you can just I forgot you can just click them. It'll actually, it'll tell you what they are. Okay. So the small tentacle ones are a flood nest. You got the flood stalks. Um, we'll have to find another like, testicle before we can figure out what that is. I assume they like spawn infection forms or something. Yeah, they all do something like that. <laughs> they, they do flood things, you know. Yeah. <laughs> be gross, ooze, like the general kind of stuff. Oh, oh too man, bad we don't that's have a the giant fucking thing. Flood colony, holy shit. Yeah. Man, can you imagine a Halo first person shooter that tackles the flood at this scale? I I've been tr I've been wanting to for ever. It would be like it would be super hard to market it. I feel because like Halo is traditionally sold on its multiplayer component, and then it's like, hey, you want to buy buy a Halo game, but it's a horror game. Like that's I a very that. niche like, market. That's my that's the best part, in my opinion, of the uh, partnership with Creative Assembly is oh, the yeah. potential for, for that like, alien isolation experience. Yeah. They can, like, do anything they want with the Halo. <laughs> I want that. So I really want money. that, man. <laughs> they can do anything they want. Yeah, by the way, to open the main menu, the circular menu, hit F. I don't know if you figured that gotcha. out yet or not. Yep, there we go. All right. Yep. So if you need to open, do that. Here we go. Okay. All right, Flood Colony. Is, if I, is there any way that I can bring up, like, a little brief... I'm thinking of the way Reach, if you press one button, it would kind of bring up, like, oh, this is the weapon you're holding, this is what it does. Um, I mean, you can click on the unit, and it should tell you some stats about it. That's about uh, the closest thing I could think of, though. Okay. Sorry. There we go. <laughs> don't, don't apologize for this game. You don't <laughs> owe this game anything. <laughs> Bitch, I owe this game my life. Not really. Ugh. <laughs> like, uh. Here we go. Oh, All we right. blew it up. Yep. Now we gotta go rescue Red Team. This game is like still pretty good looking. Like if, it is. If I mean, they, they up-resed everything, but okay. it's, even the classic Halo Wars version, uh, or the classic 360 version. Okay, the the giant bulbs are called Flood Eggs. Flood Eggs. Got it. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> got it. Okay. There we go. Flood Eggs. That, got that. it. Uploading coordinates. Uploading coordinates. I've lost Anders Yay! Ooh, let's get a couple of you Spartans in these Hornets. There's Serena, always looking angry at me for some reason. Alright. This music is nice. Isn't it? This is, like, really good. The Halo Wars soundtrack is really damn good. Like, it, it captures the, excuse me, the essence of Halo. But it also yeah. has this unique sound to it. it well, I it's really, very... Or, sorry, go yeah. ahead. 
No, I was gonna say, I am really digging the focus on the pianos and stuff. Yeah. It's got kind of like that choir -y feel. It does. And honestly, when I think about it, I could be very wrong about this, but I honestly cannot uh, remember anybody being all that outraged over the Halo Wars 2, the, sorry, the Halo Wars 1 soundtrack. Yeah, wasn't it like generally loved by a lot of people? I honestly don't want to, I don't know if I want to say loved. Like, I think there was still that bit of, oh, it's not Marty. That, <laughs> and that, also that, that like, always hey, be a shooter. There. But I think it was generally pretty well received. Um, by the way, we have three. You can build three more hornets if you want to. If you want to have those final gotcha, slots, because I, I think I have a few more than you. Also, you okay. have a Spartan over here. <laughs> a chaff bot used to do distract and diverting. Yes. Okay, so the okay. The, yeah, if you want to right, research, or I'll research that when uh, when we get the resources. If you want to build up your armies for. <coughs> Build up your armies first, sorry. Oh no, my Spartan's in trouble. Alright, I got him. Okay. Yep. I like to put them in the uh, in the Hornets, so they're a little tougher, and your Hornet's a little tougher for it. proto -grave mind. Yep, that's our ultimate goal. Well, I want to fucking destroy that thing. <laughs> yeah, I don't want that thing to make it stick weaker, around. You take out all the Flood colonies. All units. Oh shit. Okay. Blood Root. This is almost like the Lambent, kind of, the way the Flood have, like, their tentacles everywhere. Yeah, isn't it? Like, this is like a, bo like a borderline key mind, or at least this is pretty close to what I imagined when they brought that up in the, uh... What do you call it? In the Forerunner Saga. The key mind, if I'm remembering right, isn't it? Like, the grave mind infests a planet? Like, it just yeah, burrows roots everywhere. Yeah, pretty much. It's a planetary-scale grave mind. And then it uses that to, like, project kind of whatever it is the Gravemind uses to control its troops throughout the galaxy. Yeah. It's almost like a massive relay for the Gravemind's commands. Pretty much. Man, the Gravemind's a fucking weird thing. <laughs> the more lore they <laughs> it, add to it, 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 it gets weirder and scarier. <laughs> All units. Well, it's funny, because, like, have you seen that, like, lore thing? Um, or not lore thing. It was, like, that interview with Joseph Staten where they were, like, so... Uh, I am a monument to all of your sins, why? And he was like, oh, just because we thought that sounded cool and we wanted to find a place to put it into the game. And it's like slowly over time they've expanded upon that and added real, like, in-lore significance to that yeah. line of dialogue. That's a lot of the, like, there was, uh, I don't know if it was an inter if this is the source you're thinking of, there was the Halo 2 uh, commentary that was included with Halo 3. I think that's what it was. And it was, yeah, they, it's like basically jo like uh it was uh Jason like went into a back room and eventually and uh, after a while came out and said, "Okay, here's my notes for Halo 2. Uh I am a, or um it was the cable I'm going to cut it. I'm the monuments <laughs> all your sins and the one that sadly did not make it in, only blood will pay for this." Yeah, yeah, it, it was like it was like um Chief looking out a window, clenches yeah. fist, only blood will pay for this. Like, yeah, just like try Earth to find a way to fit that into the game somewhere. <laughs> yeah, like, Earth was, supposed, Earth was supposed to burn. Oh, yeah. Well, the whole thing, the whole marketing campaign for Halo 2 was Defend Earth. Shit, shit. Get out of there, get out of there, my... Sending there, my in precious all my is. fucking falcons. Oh, I gotta move What are, What falcons? Point. Are there falcons in this game? Oh, yeah, sorry, I mean the hornets. <laughs> the cooler things. Throwing it out. Base oh man, Let's all my shit's here. gonna die. Oh no. Oh yeah. Wait, I think I <laughs> no, did that wrong. No, no, not oh yeah. Oh no. <laughs> oh man, there's a flood colony down there. All right. Yep. This is fucking awesome. This is so, like this is just what I want. Just like Starcraft with a Halo skin. A Spartan is down. No. A Spartan is down. God damn it, Colony, stop producing shit. Oh man, I see a flood thing burrowing. You're a flood thing burrowing. <laughs> You're a flood thing burrowing. That's not the point. Oh fuck, that thing's still got a lot All of Alright, let's do it. Let's carpet bomb this shit. Woo! It's almost dead. Fuck it. Charge it. Charge it. 
<laughs> oh, we're just sending all our troops in? It, it's almost dead. Fucking go for it! Alright, everyone. Only blood will pay for this. Totes. I don't want you to tell your <laughs> uh, The cable, I'm, I'm going, going to cut to it. I'm going to cut it. <laughs> we got it all going. I'm ready to see Yes! It. Oh my god, here <laughs> it comes, here it comes. No! Oh, I didn't see it. Oh, Wait, yes. here we go. Ew. It's its time of the month. We didn't actually defeat it. It's the time of the month. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, can you imagine good. that? Just a giant flood period. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that came to mind. Oh, it's hey, I got an achievement. That's cool. You got an achievement. Time of the month. 50 gamers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're going to kill me. <laughs> I know. That was fun. <laughs> yeah. All things considered. Um, yeah, it was fun and got better score than me. I always like seeing that. I, usually when I play with friends, I don't remember if it's on been on the past... Uh, Let's lures for Halo Wars, but in, usually when I play with friends, I get the higher score. So I like when someone outdoes me. <laughs> you disgustingly so, overshadow them. I don't know if I want to go that far, but I mean, like I'm a I'm pretty aggressive when it comes. Usually, <laughs> <laughs> you're yeah. a pretty aggressive. Halo Which is usually player. why I lose a shit ton of units. <laughs> <laughs> so, you just send them all out to die. The best kind of strategist. Yeah, I mean, hey, that's what they're there for, right? We got 11,000 on the compliment of the year. Uh, we have 11,000 on the Spirit of Fire. We can spare a few hundred. I'm pretty <laughs> sure no commander thinks that about their troops. Well, I mean, we've got like a Have you watched spare. Hollywood, man? Oh, oh, yeah. True people die in the hundreds. Bad guys yeah. will sometimes kill their own henchmen. Even exactly. Even losing exactly. to remind you they're the bad guy. Yep. You know what? Some I don't know about you. Sometimes I forget. Like... Look, at, I wish Truth had killed more of his own men. Oh, man. Truth like, I, just, like, like by the end of, the, of Halo 2, I was like, man, Truth, I want to hate him, but I kind of like him. <laughs> like, as a person, I would want to hang out with this guy. <laughs> this, this Truth guy, he's all right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like his smile. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, that was a fun playthrough. Thank you for joining me. Yeah, of course. And... Of course, you out there. I'm sure most of you have, have heard of uh, late night ga late night gaming. Oh, I sure hear about it have. enough in the comments, but <laughs> regardless, if you have or if you haven't, check out his channel. They probably uh, have some I will strong say, opinions. <laughs> yeah, you do have some strong opinions. I didn't always agree with it. I I did at one point take a little bit of an issue with how you presented stuff. Oh yeah, no, um, I'm, I'm which improving. was definitely a lot. Some of that was my own personal bias. I am very willing to admit. But your more recent videos have actually, I, I think I've been re really enjoying watching them, like even whether they're positive or negative, because I think you just do, you do these days just a much better balance between those between those two. It's not extreme to one end or the other. And that's really what I like. It's it's it feels very logical, very well thought out. That's why I'm trying so, to make it like less emotion driven and blah, 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 yeah. and just trying to be like a little bit more fair to all sides of yeah, the and argument. And that's something I've tried to do too. Like you look at my escalation reviews or God, my fall of reach review. It's not my <laughs> I proudest. Love the fall of reach review. A lot of that's people love it. You know what? I look back on it and I feel like, you know, I think I said fuck one too many times. <laughs> no, it was great. I loved it. It's one of my favorite videos of yours. Cause yeah, fuck the fall of reach. Well, you, say, series. you say you're your own worst critic anyway. So. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> we could go on forever. But again, thank you, Late Night, for joining me. It was a lot yeah. of fun. And we I'm glad to finally have you on my friends list. That's a mistake we corrected today. Yeah. And thank you all out there for, for watching us. Again, check out Late Night Gaming. He does some great content. Q&A. Not all Halo stuff. So, it, you know, it's, a, it's, a, it's mostly Halo, but a little bit of variety. So if you want a little something more casual in that regard, like his Monday Q&A is, is uh, what comes to mind. But anyway, I'm going to I'm going to keep on rambling if I don't shut up. <laughs> <laughs> they, they but, once again, end. thank you all for joining. Until next time, this has been Halo Cannon. Thanks for watching. Be sure to give a like and consider subscribing and sharing this video around.
Also consider checking out Gamefly. With over 8,000 new releases and classic games for current and previous gen consoles, and even some older consoles, Gamefly is a great way to try tons of games without buying them. Go to GameflyOffer.com slash HaloCanon to start your 30-day free trial.